Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu, dear viewers from around the world. Welcome to another new and exciting episode of Islamic Jeopardy. I am your host, Ali Ahmed. With us, we have the three teams, Muhajirun, Ansar, and Darus Salam. With Muhajirun, we have Brother Ray. Please introduce yourself. My name is Ray and I'm 21 years old. I'm from Indonesia and now I'm studying at Al Azhar University. MashaAllah. Welcome to the program. Thank you. And with Ansar, we have this lovely brother, Adnan. Please introduce yourself. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum My name is Adnan. I'm 27 years old. I'm originally from Bosnia and I came here to study uh, Arabic language. MashaAllah. Welcome to the program. Thank you. And with Darus Salam, we have this lovely brother. Please introduce yourself. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalamu wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Muhammad Garba. I'm from Nigeria, 25 years old, a student at Al Azhar University. MashaAllah, welcome to the program. Thank you. All right, I would like to introduce our studio audiences. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you very much for being here with us in this exciting new episode of Islamic Jeopardy. Are you guys ready? Yes. Yes. All right, contestants, are you guys ready for another round? Inshallah. Yes. Viewers, are you guys ready for another round of Islamic Jeopardy? All right, last time we finished the Islamic Jeopardy episode with Muhajirun for a total points of 32,700 points. Followed by Ansar. 37,600 points. And yet again, Darus Salam took the lead from Ansar for 37,800 points. So, Muhammad Garbar, we're going to let you choose the first question. But we're going to have six new questions or six new categories for this Islamic jeopardy. It is Surah Tawbah. Dreams in Islam, Prophet Ayyub alayhi salam, famous Muslim children, famous Islamic battles, and Islamic capitals. Muhammad Garbar, okay. please choose the first question. Uh, let me choose from Surah to Tawbah 100. Okay, Surah Tawbah for 100. Oh. Surah Tawbah is the only surah that does not contain this. Uh, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. All right, very good. Mm. What is Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim? Surah Tawbah begins mm. without mm. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim and it just begins Bara'atun min Allah. All mm. right, very good. Mm. Muhammad, you got that correct for 100? You get to choose. Yeah. Uh, let me choose 100 from dreams. Dreams for 100. Oh. <clears throat> A good dream is considered to be how many parts of prophethood? Uh, 70. 17 or 70? 70. 70. No, that is not the correct answer. We'll go to Brother Ray with Muhajirun. Mm. A good Allah. dream is considered to be how many parts of prophethood? What about one per 46? All right, very good. Very good, mashallah. What is one forty sixth yeah. of prophethood? What is one out of 46th part of prophethood? Very good. Get to choose the next question, Brother Ray. I'll pick dreams in Islam for 200. Dreams in Islam for 200. 
The Prophet instructed us to do this when we have a bad dream. Mm, I guess it's istighfar. Which is to uh, seek istighfar. Seek, yeah. You are very close. You are very close. But that is not the correct, that is answer. Not the correct answer. Sorry. Brother Adnan. Yes. I think I know this. Uh, it's not because I have bad dreams, but <laughs> 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 uh, you, you have to say, Awadu billahi min shaitan rajim. Okay. Very good. You seek refuge in Allah. You seek refuge in Allah. And this was told to us by the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the hadith of Bukhari. Very good. Brother Adnan, you get to choose the question. Yes. Uh, Islamic capitals 100. Islamic capitals for 100. This is the capital of Egypt. That is uh, Qahira, Cairo. All right. Very good. Very good. What is Cairo or Al Qahira, like you said? Yeah. Very good. You took that for 100. Yes. We go on with 200 capitals. Okay. Islamic capitals for 200. This is the capital of Pakistan. The capital of Pakistan is, um, I'll guess, uh, Islamabad. That's a very good guess. Got it. What <laughs> is Islamabad? The capital of Pakistan is Islamabad. Very good. Adnan, you get that for 200. Yes. Then uh, I will try... Um, Prophet Ayyub 100. Prophet Ayyub alayhi salam for 100. Prophet Ayyub is known for which virtue? It is for his uh, patience. That is very good, mashallah. What is patience? Prophet Ayyub alayhi salam had a lot of patience and he was thus known to be a prophet of immense patience. Very good. You get to choose the next question. Famous Muslim children, 100. Famous Muslim children for 100. He was the first Muslim boy to accept Islam. Yes, and uh, he was 10 years old. It was Ali. Very good, very good. Who was Ali bin Abi Talib, radiallahu anhu, and at the age of 10, he accepted Allah as his Lord, Muhammad as his prophet, and Islam as his Religion. Very good, Brother Adnan. You get to choose the next question. Yes. Let's take um, famous battles for 200. Famous Islamic battles for 200. This was the battle in which the uncle of the Prophet wasallam became martyred. One of his uncles... Yes. What was the battle in which the uncle of the Prophet became martyred? I think, I'm not sure, but I think Battle of Uhud. That is a very good guess, mashallah. What was the battle of Uhud? And we know it was Hamza, radiallahu anhu, who became shaheed in this battle. Very good. You get to choose the next question. Yes. I, I like uh, Islamic capital, so I take uh, that for 400. Sure, Islamic capitals for 400. This is the capital of Malaysia. Yes, the beautiful capital, uh, Kuala Lumpur. All right, the beautiful camp capital indeed is Kuala Lumpur. Very good, that is the capital of Malaysia. All right, Brother Adnan, you're on fire, mashallah. <laughs> Get to choose the next question. Yes, uh, let's take... Um, Prophet Ayyub for 300. Prophet Ayyub for 300. What fell upon Prophet Ayyub alayhi salam when he was taking a bath? What was falling upon him when he was taking a bath? Hmm. I'm not quite sure, but I think it was out of gold and was uh, I'm not quite sure what it's called it's locus yes locus? yes yeah. very good very good what is gold locus Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala showered upon him once he was taking a shower gold 
locusts and he started collecting all of them and Allah asked him did I not give you enough Ayyub alayhi salam responded very beautifully to Allah he said these are the bounties from you and I like to collect as much bounty as I can from my Lord very good brother Adnan you get to choose the next question yes we go with uh, Prophet Ayyub for 500 this time all right very good Prophet Ayyub alayhi salam for 500 name the three things that afflicted Prophet Ayyub what the are the things. three afflictions or the three trials that he went through the trials like through his life correct okay correct. Uh, he lost his family yes and uh, uh, his wealth okay and uh, he got the sickness his uh, health very good very good he lost his wealth and then he lost all of his family members except for his wife and then he lost his health but during all these trials that Allah gave him just to prove that he is a thankful servant to Allah and that he is a very patient servant to Allah he had endured all of these with patience and thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that way we as Muslims can also take a lesson from this and also when we lose our family members when we lose our wealth, when we lose our sickness, we do not despair from the mercy of Allah. Rather, we have patience and we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for everything. Very good, brother Adnan. You get to choose the next question. Yes. Um, I stay with the 500, but this time Islamic capitals. 500. Okay, Islamic capitals yes. for 500. This is the capital of... Palestine, but before you answer, we're going to take a short break. So, dear viewers, don't touch that remote control. We'll be right back. Praise be to my Lord, Allah. Praise Him every day. Signs of the hour. Tune in to Signs of the Hour with Sheikh Asim Lokman Al Hakim five days a week, only in the month of Ramadan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu Dear viewers, welcome back to the second segment of Islamic Jeopardy Before the break, we asked this question to our lovely brother Adnan from Ansar And that is, what is the capital of Palestine? Yes, that is uh, Al-Quds, Jerusalem Very good, mashallah What is Jerusalem? What is Jerusalem or Al-Quds, very good. All right, Brother Adnan. Yes, dreams for 300. Dreams in Islam for 300. A good dream is from this, and a bad dream is from? A good dream. Where is a good dream from? Or who is a good dream from and from where does a bad dream happen I think I passed this time I think so I'm not not 100% sure okay okay mm. no problem no problem mm. we'll go to brother Ray with Muhajirun mm, I think it's a good dream is come from Allah and the bad dream is come from shaitan okay very good very good you said that the good dreams come from Allah and the bad dreams, they come from shaitan. That's why when we have a bad dream, we seek refuge in Allah from this bad dream. And inshallah, nothing will happen to us and it will not harm us. Very good. Brother Ray, you get to choose the next question. Uh, I think I 
take the Islamic capitals for 300 first. Okay, Islamic capitals for 300. This is the capital of Afghanistan. Uh, is that Kabul? Mm. Afghanistan. What is the capital of Afghanistan? It's Af Afghanistan. This is the capital of Afghanistan. Is it Afghan? Afghan? What Afghan was that? Afghanistan itself? Or? Mm, no, it is not Afghanistan. That is the country. Oh, yeah. But we'll go to Brother Muhammad Darussalam. I think Kabul. Yes, very good. What is Kabul? Yeah. Ray, I was looking at your lips and you were kind of saying yeah. Kabul, really but sure. you weren't too sure, <laughs> okay? Don't be afraid to spread it out. No problem, okay? <laughs> Very good. Muhammad Garbar with Darussalam, you got that correct for yeah. 300. Okay. Uh, let me choose uh, Surah Tawbah 200. Okay, Surah Tawbah for 200. Allah mentioned in Surah Tawbah, this battle in which the Muslims almost lost and were defeated. Uh, which battle mm. was this? Uh, uh, please repeat the question. Okay. Allah mentioned in Surah Toba this particular battle in which the Muslims almost lost and they were almost defeated. Which battle was this? Uh, Hunayn. Okay, very good, very good. What is the battle uh, of Hunayn? Hunayn, very good. Garbar, you get to choose the next question. Uh, let me choose Prophet Ayyub 200. Okay, Prophet Ayyub for 200. Mm. Allah gave shaitan to harm the body of Prophet Ayyub except this. I think uh, his tongue. His tongue. No, that is not the correct answer, but we'll go to Brother Adnan. He was given permission to harm the body of Prophet Ayyub, except for this part of the body. What is... Yeah, a wild guess, maybe the heart. Okay, all right, very good. What is his heart or his soul? Okay, his heart or his soul. He was unable to harm that. Very good. Adnan, you get to choose. Yes. Let's take uh, dreams in Islam 400. Is dreams in Islam for 400? Yes. Umar radiallahu anhu saw in his dream he was drinking milk that came out from his nails. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam interpreted this as what was the interpretation of this dream? I'm not quite sure. He was drinking the milk. He was drinking milk that came from his nails. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, I think I heard it once. Is it uh, representing knowledge? Very good, very good. What is religious knowledge? Religious very good. Yeah, what is knowledge. religious knowledge? Yeah. And we knew, and we know Umar was a very knowledgeable person. Very good. Get to choose the next question. Yeah, I take. Um, yeah, j dreams in Islam five hundred. Dreams in Islam for five hundred. Which wife of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam saw was shown to him in his dream being presented to him in a silken cloth? Which wife was this? Silken cloth. He was presented to him. This wife. Sorry. Okay. I don't know. No problem. No problem, brother Ray from Muhajirun. Which mm -hmm. wife of the Prophet was shown to him in his dream being presented in a silken cloth? Mm, perhaps it's uh, Aisha radiallahu anha. All right, very good. Who was Aisha 
Radiallahu anha. Very good. Very good. Brother Ray, you get to choose. Uh, I'll take uh, for most Islamic battles for 500. All right. Islamic battles for 500. This was the battle in which the Muslim army had to dig trenches around Medina in order to prevent the enemy from coming into the city. Mm, I believe it's the battle of Handak. Very good. What was the battle of mm. Khandak? What was the battle of Khandak or the trench? Very good, Brother Ray. You get to choose. I'll take famous Muslim children for 300. Famous Muslim children for 300. This young boy served the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam for 10 years. He served the Prophet for 10 years. Uh, it was uh, Anas bin Malik. Very good. Very good. Who was Anas bin Malik radiallahu anhu? He served okay. the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam for ten years. Very good. You get to choose. Mm, I'll pick mm, for most Muslim children for four hundred. Famous Muslim children for four hundred. Born to the second Khalifa of Islam, this boy accepted Islam at the age of ten. He was born to the second Khalifa of Islam. It's, uh, is it uh, Ali, Rad Ali bin Abi Talib? No, it was not Ali bin Abi Talib. Ali bin Abi Talib was the fourth oh, Khalifa. Yes. He wasn't the son of the second, but that's... Thank you for taking a good guess. Muhammad Garbar. Mm, I'm not sure what I think. Abdullah ibn Umar. Very good, very yeah. good. Who was <laughs> Abdullah bin Umar radiallahu anhu? He was... The son of the second Khalifa, which was Umar bin Khattab. Very mm. good. Mm. Muhammad, get to choose. Mm. Let me choose Surah Tawbah 300. Surah Tawbah for 300. Mm. How many types of people does Allah mention that qualify for charity in this surah? I think eight. Very good. <coughs> what is eight? The poor, <laughs> the needy, mm. those employed to collect mm. the sadaqah, mm. to attract the hearts of those who are inclined towards Islam, mm. to free the prisoners, mm. those in debt, mm. those in Allah's cause or path, mm. and the traveler. Very mm. good, Muhammad. Mm. You get to choose the next question. Um. I got to choose famous, um, no, famous Muslim children, 100. Okay, for 200? Uh, no, I mean the, the following, okay, battle in Islam. Okay, 100. famous Islamic battles for mm. 100. This was the first battle fought in Islam. Mm. What was the first battle fought in Islam? Mm. I'm not very sure, but let me take okay. a guess. Take a guess. I think uh, Uhud. Mm, no, it wasn't Uhud. It wasn't Uhud. Adnan. I, I can only think of the Battle of the Badr. Very good. Very good. What was the Battle of Badr? And this was the first battle in Islam in which Allah sent 5,000 angels. To help the Muslims. Very good, Brother Adnan. Get to choose the next question. Yes. Um, let's finish off uh, uh, with 400 Prophet Ayub. Okay, Islam. Prophet Ayub for 400. Yes. yes. This is the dua Prophet Ayub made to Allah. What was the dua? And this is mentioned in the Quran. Yeah. I have to pass this time. Okay, okay, no problem. Brother Ray, this was the dua Prophet Ayyub made to Allah. Mm, not really sure about No, okay, yeah. no problem. Muhammad Garba with Daru Salam. I think he said, Rabbi in Nima Sani Adur, O Lord, I've been afflicted with uh, harm. Yes. Okay, very good, very good. Yes. He said, Truly, adversity has afflicted me, yeah. 
and you are most merciful of all who show mercy and this is in surah al anbiya verse 83 wa anta arhamur rahimin dear viewers i hope you have benefited from this episode of islamic jeopardy hope you can join us next time in another round of islamic jeopardy jazakallahu khairan wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh wa alaykum assalam In the morning, praise in the evening, praise, praise him every day. When you're lost, praise when you're lonely, praise, praise him every day. Say Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, God is great. God is great.